Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic game for you played by Judith Polgar against Pavlina Chilingarova. The game was played in 1988 at Wimish Chess Olympiad. And at that time Judith Polgar was only 12 years old. Let's see how good she was at that time. Polgar started with e4 and c5 by Chilingarova, Sicilian defense, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop b5. Judith Polgar goes for Nezmeddin of Rosolimo attack. g6, white castles, bishop g7, c3, e5, d4, e takes d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight takes d4, c takes d4 and here comes a strong move. e5, controlling the f6 square and not allowing any knight f6 move. Also closing this bishop's diagonal and now already white queen can capture on d4. But now black can't capture on e5 because after rook e1, f6, f4 black is losing her bishop. Let's go back. After e5 we see knight e7 and now comes bishop g5. Again capturing on e5 can't be played. If bishop takes e5, then bishop takes e7, followed by f4, with later threats of bringing the rook to e1. Let's go back. After bishop g5, we see castling king side, and queen takes d4. Knight c6. Now, as you can see, both queens are hanging, and here comes a strong response. Queen h4. Black queen is now hanging. Queen b6. Knight c3. Bishop takes e5 and rook e1, a very strong move. This white rook is both controlling the e-file and also white is provoking black to capture on c3 and win a piece. And believe it or not, but black took the bait and captured on c3. By the way, if a move like bishop g7, then again, after bishop c4, black's position is very unpleasant. For example, if queen takes b2, then knight d5 is very strong. And if b5, then knight f6 check. If bishop takes f6, then bishop takes f6 and black is forced to give up her queen. Otherwise, queen h6 and black king will get checkmated. Let's go back. After rook e1, we see bishop takes c3, b takes c3, queen takes b5 and queen h6. White is creating two dangerous threats, one of them playing bishop f6 and checkmate black king, and the other threat you will see after queen f5, controlling the f6 square. Looks like black has solved all the problems and black is a piece up, but in this position Judith Polgar played a move and black resigned. Can you find her next move? Ready? She played queen takes f8 check and black resigned. If king takes f8 then bishop h6 check followed by rook e8 checkmate. What a beautiful attacking game by a 12 year old chess prodigy. Your comments and questions please and thanks for watching. Good luck.